August 31th. Happy almost September. <laughs> Tip of the Grand Sound Advice Coffee Cup to you. It's Tech Tuesday. It is August 31th, like I just said, and we're blowing right into September. I've noticed over the last couple days the light changing, you know, lighter, later, uh, darker, earlier. Uh, I hate that time of year, but, you know, because that means December's coming in January. But, hey, we've had a beautiful summer, although a bit warm. You know, it's what it is. It's it's uh, life as we know it, right? So Tech Tuesday is about technology and stuff we do with voiceover. And for the last nine weeks, I've been doing how to get started in voiceover. And today, number 10, as promised, I'm going to give you a, just the most shallow look at two programs that I suggested last week. One being Audacity, the second being Reaper. Both are what's called a DAW, Digital Audio Workstation. And in a quick review, they take the sound going into your microphone, which starts down the wire as analog and goes into what's called an interface. The interface does some cute stuff in there and converts it using a driver into your computer into ones and zeros. However, the computer doesn't know what to do with it, so you need some type of software that will handle audio. Many computers have standard audio programs on them. I know a Mac does, things like GarageBand, but I don't know Macs, so I'm going to stay away from acting like I know what I'm talking about. In this case, I'm on a PC. Both of these programs work on a PC and a Mac. You will never tell which one did it. You'll never tell the difference in your audio based on the software alone. What you do with it as far as filters and processing and all that kind of stuff will have vast changes on your sound. But the actual software, you should never hear it. So let's dig in. This is going to be the most shallow of looks. Why? Because there are thousands of hours of YouTube videos on both of these pieces of software out there. And again, uh, I'm not going to reference anything with um, Audacity because I've been a very light user of Audacity for months now, and I, I don't even know who has good videos. Uh, you should know when you dig into them. Some of them are really, really good, and some of them are like, oh boy, enough said. However, for Reaper, I will again reference Mike Delgadio, Booth Junkie, and Kenny Joya, and I can't remember what the name of his channel is, but I'll probably put a little uh, thought window up here, and I'll put it in the comments. It, it was in last week's video also. They are superb. Um, Mike Delgadio has one series on how to set up Reaper for voiceover. I mean, if you just follow his video, you will have Reaper set up for audio. What about Audacity? It is free. And I'm going to show you that uh, screen now. I'm going to switch over to it and talk over it. So on Audacity, let me get my, okay, so here's my cursor. This is what Audacity looks like. I recorded a little clip earlier. You can see right here, and I just you know, hit the button. And there are all kinds of things you can do with Audacity. You can have multiple tracks. You can put effects on it, like changing the speed and filtering and EQing. And again, I'm not even going to get into all this. But it is, um, it is a nice little program. It is free to download. It is free to use, period. It's free. And so uh, in this case, I'm going to close this audio track, and I'm going to hit the record button, and you can see me recording. That's my voice being live. Record button, and you can see me recording. That's my voice being live. And so wasn't that exciting. So, um, and that may not have come through on the video really well because that's just through my microphone. I didn't set up any cute stuff. You know, you can resize windows. This is called a waveform, and you can zoom into it. Um, you'll get to a point where you can actually see the sound. Uh, that little thing right there might be a mouth click. I'm not going to worry about that right now. But, you know, you want another track? Okay, well, you can just go up and uh, see how long it's been since I've used this. Anyhow, uh, track, maybe that would be add a new track, mono stereo. And now I'm going to record down here. So you can record multiple tracks if, if what you're doing calls for that. Um, this is a great way to record a commercial, you know. This is Shelly down at Shelly's C Shop, and you need to come buy seashells. And then you process it and send it to your customer. So again... Uh, that's what Audacity looks like. So 
that's a an easy program and like I mentioned it is free free to use free to have uh, there's never any uh, cost for it now the next one is Reaper and once you step off of an audacity platform into what we'll call a heavier usage DAW one last time digital audio workstation um, you get into there's probably a, a handful five that are the the big guys in the in the space and again I'm not even going to try to reference them all because I use Reaper I know there's um, an Adobe suite there's again I'm going to stop because I'm going to be you can find them okay just uh, there's this thing called Google now you can search so you can see my meter uh, jumping recording and it's not recording yet but I am armed for recording and this is a different setup you can see down here on the lower left I have different filter things set up to do different things and uh, I'm not going to go into all that because again it, it's it's beyond what this is about but uh, again all I have to do is come down here and hit the record button and you can see me starting to record up here I'm going to zoom in it's just a nice little scroll wheel you can see I just did a little mouth click there and sorry about that but uh, that's louder than it would ever be in a recording but you can see that mouth click right there I, I showed that to you in the last clip you can record multiple tracks in Reaper just like you can any other it's incredibly flexible you can do something with Reaper just about anything you want to do as far as looping in um, I'm talking over my head because I don't even understand how powerful it is but there are ways to let's say I want to take that click out of here I just go like that and it's gone there's also processing software which we'll talk about next week which I will be I'll be talking over my head the whole time because I know what it does but I can't explain it so anyhow this is Reaper and I can shut that off and notice it's no longer trying to find my microphone it is now armed for recording again so that is what we call a DAW so I, I'm not trying to do a tutorial on how to use a DAW that's not what this was about it's to show you some of the technology that is available to voice artists now Reaper again like I said last week is free to try it's a 60-day trial it is free you can evaluate at that point it's like 69 bucks if you are using it commercially at less than twenty thousand dollars a year and it's just an honor system they expect you if you're making that much money with it you can pony up a few more bucks and you can go to their website and find out all about that because it's all there I again not trying to be a uh, tutorial on how to use this was only just to kind of give you an idea of what a DAW is and what it does uh, by the way if you would like and subscribe to the channel share with a friend I'd really appreciate that so again it takes the audio signal from your microphone which is analog takes it into your interface turns it into digital brings it into there so you can do all kinds of cool things with that and you can process it put echo effects cut noise and all that kind of stuff we'll see next week if I can uh, do enough on a program called RX8 standard it's an audio processing that can go in and find breaths and clicks and chips and all kinds of stuff and again I won't do a tutorial but I'll do just a real quick demonstration uh, so you can see what it does I hope this has been helpful again if you'd like and subscribe and share I'd really appreciate that if you need help in getting started as a voice artist hit me at grantsvoice.com voicepro at grantsvoice.com if you want to email me I'd be happy to try to help good luck in your journey on being a voiceover artist see you tomorrow morning for Wednesday potpourri